Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I have finally gotten the opportunity to bring you something that I've been wanting to discuss for a good long time and it is an accessory for the Surface Book 2. That's right, finally a Surface Book 2 update. So way back in probably early January I learned about a company based out of the United States that makes vertical Surface docks and they have finally uh, gotten to a point where they could launch their Surface Book to ergonomic dock kit. What this will essentially allow you to do is take your Surface Book, mount it either vertical or horizontally in a vase mount. Pretty neat. And it also allows you to take the Surface Dock electronics and put it in there as well. And you pretty much have a one-stop uh, docking solution. At least that's the idea. Just a couple things to note. You can totally get this kit right now. It is available for purchase. And I'll leave the link in the description down below of all of the pieces that I used to build this kit. What you're seeing on this video is the July 2019 production batch. And there's actually some very candid and very honest and very real literature included with the dock that talks about uh, the company, kind of the fact that they are a 100% family startup business in Seattle. They are looking to improve and I'm hoping that this video will actually bring some awareness to the product so more people can try it out and they can gain that feedback and use that to create an even better product. I will go ahead and show you the pieces that we will be using to build this today. So I have went and found a Surface uh, dock. It's brand new still in the box. I found it on Kijiji for a very reduced price, so I'm pretty pleased about that. I have myself a mini uh, display port to HDMI cable for a monitor, Amazon Basics. Figured it's a, it's a cable, $10 is good enough. I have also got over here a uh, arm kit. This one happens to be from a company called Hun... I, I'm not even gonna try. It's, it's that one right there. Anyway, um, Amazon Basics also had a monitor holding kit, but this one was about $40 cheaper at the time. So I figured, hey, for an experiment, let's uh, keep things budget conscious, shall we? So some assembly will probably need to be required for that. And of course, this is what you will get the dock kit in. It comes with two neodymium magnets, which I have been told by the literature are not for eating under any circumstances. And yeah, the parts are located inside of this, um, you know, plastic bag. And it was very nicely shipped and everything, but yeah, it's a startup company. They're 3D uh, printed parts. They're supposed to be pretty high quality, mind you. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what you can expect uh, to get. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and open this up and assemble the kit according to the instructions. So inside here we have parts, including the active cooling system, which I'm really curious to see how that works. And then we've got what I'm assuming is the large base. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my poisonous magnets and put them on the table over here and we'll go ahead and get rid of that plastic. So we'll continue the unpacking here. This has been packaged with great care which is awesome to see. So we'll just go ahead and lift that off. I gotta say uh, for 3D printed that is pretty high quality. It's got uh, two hinges there. Very sturdy feeling or two springs, I should say. So yeah, this part right here is where the dock cable is gonna get threaded from what I understand. And then that whole thing will get uh, strapped to the bottom. These are the vase mount holes, I'm guessing. And then yeah, the whole thing should just sit uh, right in there. And I'm actually relieved at the moment to see how this has been manufactured because I am nervous that my toast skin might actually change the thickness of the laptop to the point where I might have compatibility issues on the dock. Now that we have all of these parts, let's go ahead and follow the instructions that are provided online uh, and assemble this. 
So the first step is to go ahead and remove the protective paper. That is a beautiful fingerprint magnet finish. Much more matte on this side. And then we have to go ahead and open up our parts bag here. We have our active cooler assembly with switch. We have a series of locking bars. And then this is the tray for the uh, dock electronics. And then we've got ourselves a series of screws and uh, nuts. So according to the instructions, because this piece has already been uh, installed, our hinge, we can actually go ahead and move on to unboxing our Surface Book electronics and putting them into the cradle that we see here. So we've got ourselves the dock here. Okay. So here is our dock electronics. It's actually quite heavy. We have ourselves an instructional booklet. We've got uh, one removable tray. We have uh, two more removable trays. And now we have an empty box. In here we have a power connector. And in here, we have the actual power uh, for the dock itself. So we'll go ahead and put these two pieces off to the side because we don't really need them at the moment. Okay, so we've got our brick here. We'll go ahead and remove the protective plastic on this. So at this point, we are gonna take the dock cradle, the dock itself, and we are gonna feed the actual connector through this end, like so. And that will fit in there just like that with the two USB ports on the front and all your other connectivity on the back. The next step is to take our surface connector and our main piece here and simply place it and run the cable uh, through the channel that's been cut, or I should say machined rather, into the plastic, just like so. So our connector ends up poking up right through there. So inside here, we've got two slots for the uh, neodymium magnets. So we're gonna go ahead and install those. And we're totally not doing this after the fact and did this the very first time that we installed this. Just want you to know there's no editing trickery going on here. Now you wanna make sure that the polarity of the magnets is actually correct. And separating them is just as much fun from each other as you could probably imagine. At this point, we can go ahead and attach this to the bottom of the actual dock itself. And what we are looking for are these holes, of course. I will use the included screws uh, for this task and then just very carefully uh, thread those in. Okay. With the four screws in the bottom, it will, there will be a tiny bit of a gap, but what you really want to look for is to make sure that there's no vertical movement of the dock connector. So if you move, can't move it up or down, then you know that this is snug enough to make sure that you've got a good connection. Once this is you know, more permanently fixed up, I'll go ahead and zap strap this all nice and pretty a little later. So with the uh, electronics firmly in place. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So to install the active cooler, the first thing that we're going to do is head to the back here and undo the M2 screw hanging out here in the back. Now that we've gone ahead and installed this piece, we can go ahead and line up the active cooling solution. There's a peg that it fits over and then we can gently hinge it into the exhaust port that has been 
generously provided for us. Then the bolt can be dropped down through the assembly and tightened on the bottom. Now that we've gone ahead and done that, we can install the on-off switch and just gently tuck all that away and install that into the first USB port. So, at this point we will need to prep what we are mounting this to. In this case it will be the arm kit that you saw at the beginning of the video. So we are going to go ahead and put all of this stuff off to the side because this next part will require having that arm available to assemble this uh, piece of equipment onto. Alright, so let's go ahead and unpack this uh, monitor holder and see what sort of assembly hell we all uh, have in store for us here. We have ourselves some instructions. So we've got lots of tiny pieces, some more tiny pieces, some washers, and we're good there. Piece of cardboard. Over there. Big burly looking metal bracket. Oh, that's our desk mount. Piece of cardboard. Other piece of cardboard. Guess what? Okay, and there's the arm itself. And it says, keep the front arm to its highest before taking off the monitor, otherwise it might drop and hurt your jaw. Oh, like the, the gas strut will like just catapult it into your face. Yeah, probably not a good time. So step one is to attach this huge piece of what I hope is steel uh, to the bottom. Okay, now that we have that installed, we're either doing uh, a fit for a desk mount or the clamp to the desk. Since we are doing the clamp to the desk, we're gonna need this guy, and he's being held together probably right there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mount this to my filming area next. Okay, so this has been mounted to the edge of my film space. Now there are these big burly zip ties that are currently holding those gas struts probably in place and the instructions don't really tell you when to cut those and I've been warned that these things will probably like fly up and hit me in the face so I'm a little bit uh, a little bit wary about how that's going to go. So we will uh, we'll, we'll do this very very carefully. Very carefully indeed. The plan is is I'm going to cut the strap while putting a downward force on the piston in the hopes it doesn't just catapult up and hit me in the face. Or the camera. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty strong. You wouldn't want to do that by, uh, by accident. We have uh, succeeded in not hitting ourselves in the face. Let us continue on with the assembly of the actual surface dock onto this kit. Okay, pardon the viewing angle, but we do want to get as much of this as we possibly can. So we're going to go ahead and take the included literal nuts and bolts here. So we'll want to put a washer on the other side there. Poke those through. We'll grab our arm kit. Now we do have uh, some hooked bars and for the surface we may want to install those just so we can get landscape and portrait. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, these two to use. So I should be able to drop the surface book in. These two shall cradle the hinge and provide the extra support that it needs so what I've gone ahead and done before I get too crazy in mounting is I've actually have set this up to do a test fit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Surface Book 2 and I'm going to go ahead and see how it uh, fits and the dock connector and everything else seems to be lining up uh, rather well. However, that one skin, that skin at the top uh, could pose to be a problem so we'll have to 
get creative on how we want to fix that. That does seem like it's going to work, so let's go ahead and uh, throw it on the mount and see what happens. Okay, so we have this uh, secured on the mount. So we're gonna go ahead and try another fit. Okay. We will need to uh, adjust the gas pressure on this. So far, that's a pretty good start. Okay, so I've gone ahead and adjusted the gas pressure and that's pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna be very wary of the fit of the top clip. Um, however, that looks like it's gonna work uh, rather nicely. Okay, after some tweaking with electrical tape, I finally have it working. The fit is definitely um, temporary until I figure out a solution that works with the toast cover. Uh, it'll obviously work and latch a lot better without it, um, but I'm going to have to pick and choose uh, what's more important, I guess, there, or come up with a different solution. At any rate, if you've got any questions about this setup, I will have it up and running for a little while. Links to where you can find everything that I've used are down in the description below. Uh, this video is definitely a bit more experimental because we're dealing with uh, experimental pieces of hardware. If you enjoy this sort of content and would like to see more, I'm going to leave the big four here at the bottom. Please like the video, share it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm messing around with this or anything else on my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.